fast food. Coyotes like fast food. Who would have ever thought? If you don't believe me, you're gonna have to watch this video. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. And as you can see, I'm standing here in my garage because as usual, like lately, it's raining again. All night last night, all day today. No work on the fence building project out here going on for a couple days because it's raining. But I went out and pulled my trail camera card from the, the trail camera where I've been trying to get pictures and videos of the coyotes eating that calf leg. And guys, if you're new to the channel and you haven't been following along with this little process, my neighbor had a calf that died of natural causes. It was born dead. And I wanted to kind of bait in a few coyotes and see what we had coming in on trail camera and see what kind of predators we get pictures of. So I thought, well, I'm gonna hang this calf leg from a tree and uh, man, it'll be cool to get some pictures and videos of coyotes reaching up, you know. Obviously that failed, that did not work at all. We had zero pictures, zero anything when that leg was hanging from the tree. So I put it on the ground, left the wire on it and just tied it onto a limb that was real flexible and just laid it on the ground. Well, the coyotes found it shortly thereafter and it's been, it's actually been funny watching them. So the title of this video, I don't want to say that it's clickbaity because it's true. Coyotes love fast food. Or maybe it's they love their food fast. So you'll have to watch these video clips of these coyotes. So this calf leg, as I said, has a piece of wire tied on it and it's tied onto a small limb that's real flexible. And these coyotes, if you, you know, if you uh, watched the video a week or two ago, you guys saw where I'm pretty sure the coyotes could see the infrared light on this camera and it was spooking them off. They'd come in and get real close and as soon as that camera would kick on, they would bolt. Well, they started coming in in the daytime to feed on this leg because a free meal is a free meal and they're like me, free food's easy food. So they wanted to come get some of that. Well, well, just watch what they do. They like fast food. These coyotes are just nuts. It's funny. I'm, I'm having so much fun just observing the coyotes. I'm not even hunting them right now. A lot of people are saying we need to get out and do some coyote hunting. And while I do enjoy coyote hunting, I'm just having more fun watching them right now. So check this out. Hey, what's that smell? It smells something. Mm. Smells like meat. Uh, I like meat. Mm. There it is. Oh, man. Mm -mm. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? That, that tree. That tree, it tried to get me. Oh, I sure like that smell of that food. I like fast food. Fast food's the best. I'm trying this again. Here we go. Oh, oh. Holy cow. Did you see that? Tree, it tried to kill me. Oh, this is so good. Mm-hmm. I like beef. Mm. Mm. Such good. What was that? Nothing. I'm hungry. Let's eat. It's time to go. Let's go. Oh, my. That tree, it tried to kill me again. I don't know what's up with this. I don't like my fast food. But I just don't like those trees that try to eat me. Did you see that? Did you see that? I'm not scared of the tree. I'm not scared of the tree. I'm, oh, what was that? Uh, it was the tree. Hey. You, hey. You, anybody? Hmm. This beef is good. I'm gonna give me some. Oh my god. Ah, ah, the tree. Nobody saw that, did they? I'm, I'm, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm hungry. So I wasn't kidding, I told you those coyotes like fast food, or 
I guess maybe I'm saying that backwards. They like their food fast. It's crazy how they just sneak in and as soon as they get a hold of that calf leg, they would bolt with it and try to run off and just <laughs> yank it out of their mouth. I, I just got, I just, it just, I just sit there laughing watching those video clips because every time they'd run in, grab a hold of it, and as soon as they would take off running, it would yank it and the whole tree limb would shake and then they would spook and I don't know. It was fun. It was fun. I don't know. I don't know, but I need some more ideas. I need some more ways to try to entice some of these predators and wild animals to come in. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, you're, you're attracting predators and coyotes into your farm. They're already here. I'm not, I'm not attracting animals that aren't already here. And I'm not doing it close to the house and close to the barn where my goats and chickens and all that are. We're on 110 acres and that trail camera is as far away from my barn as I can get. So. It's really not attracting a problem, but it's a lot of fun. Kind of caught a break in the rain here. You believe that? I think I may, well, I'm obviously not going to get any work done outside because of the rain. It is a muddy mess around here. But anyways, if you guys have any ideas or, or things that I could do to put out to try to attract, oh, whatever, coyotes, bobcats, foxes, raccoons, possum, what could we do? What would you guys like to see as far as trail camera videos go? Because you guys have been requesting so many of these trail camera videos lately. So I've been trying to keep up with it and come up with new ideas. So we're gonna probably test out a few different things and see what they like. So while we've got a break in the rain here, I'm gonna sneak off down to my greenhouse and, and pick a few greens because my wife's been telling me all morning she wants to make some juice, but I just didn't feel like coming out in the rain and picking greens, but I know not, not all of my subscribers are into everything that we do. Some of you are only watching this video because it's a trail camera video and it has predators and coyotes and stuff, but gardening is a huge thing for us. Growing in our high tunnel is, has been amazing. I love it. Having this cool season, um, Cool season crop varieties and these cool season crops that allow us to have greens all winter time is just awesome. And a lot of you know, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a long time, that a good friend of mine named Leon Sloan owns a business in Kingston, Oklahoma, building greenhouses and high tunnels and stuff. And I got this high tunnel on a program through the NRCS. I've got a ton of videos on that, but a lot of people have been asking about Leon and how's Leon doing and stuff. Well, I got a message a couple days ago from a subscriber named Ruth Cleveland, and she just had Leon build two greenhouses on her property. I think she got a 20 by 48 and like an eight by 10, and uh, she's tickled to death. I think she's really excited to get growing in there and being able to grow greens all winter long and all kinds of crops through the summer. But everyone's been asking about Leon and how he's been doing because you know, we've gone to his place and done a couple farm tours there and greenhouse tours and see what all he has growing. Haven't done that lately, just because there's not a whole lot going on. But Leon, I talked to Leon just the other day. He's doing great. Everyone's been asking about him because they knew he had some issues with his heart. Leon's doing great. He's healthy. His wife's not in real good shape. His wife has cancer really bad and uh, they're going through a lot of health problems with her. But Leon, Leon's okay. He's not having any issues with his heart. So he's got a YouTube channel. He doesn't post a lot. The guy has got so much going on. He's just so busy. But I'm really gonna try to talk him into posting a lot of gardening videos come this spring. When I talked to him the other day, he said he had 2,000 tomato plants that will be ready to put out and plant in his greenhouses in February in Oklahoma. Nobody plants tomatoes in February except Leon. So I'll leave a link to his channel. Go check that out. Anyways, guys, I'm going to harvest some greens and probably go make some juice for my wife this morning. And uh, it's just kind of what we do. We love our green juices in the morning. Just, uh, it's a great way to start the day. Well, there we go. Oh, I'm losing my greens. Got a pile of greens. Gonna go make some juice this morning, get our day started. And I'm ending this video early this morning because 
I'm not making a garden video or a juicing video, but I just want to answer a couple questions about Leon because you guys have been asking so much. Anyways, this was a trail camera video, not a garden video, but I just wanted to share that with you. So, guys, like I said earlier, if you have any ideas on trail camera videos that you would like to see here on our property or animals that you'd like to see us try to get pictures of, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see what we can do there. And uh, that's it. That's all I've got for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I told you guys coyotes like fast food. It's not just us Americans that enjoy a good fast food meal. Them coyotes love fast food too. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.